Hi, I'm Bart Lubau. I'm the director of the Juvenile Justice Strategy Group at the Annie E. Casey Foundation. And um, amongst other things, uh, I'm the uh, designer and longtime manager of the Juvenile Detention Alternatives Initiative, which is uh, now the nation's most widely replicated uh, juvenile justice system reform uh, project operating by the end of 2012 in approximately 150 local jurisdictions in almost 40 states and the District of Columbia. So JDAI is a juvenile justice system reform initiative. It uh, essentially takes advantage of um, uh, detention related issues and problems as a way of encouraging jurisdictions to develop a more collaborative data-driven approaches to strengthening juvenile justice. Its immediate objectives are to safely reduce reliance on detention, but its longer-term objective is actually to go beyond that to use detention essentially as an entry point for overall system reform. Um, JDAI over the past two decades has achieved some uh, uh, very special results, which is why it's been so widely replicated. On average, JDAI sites have reduced their reliance on detention by more than 40 percent, and they've reduced uh, their commitments to state custody um, by approximately a third, all with no decreases in public safety outcomes. In fact, public safety outcomes in most JDAI sites have improved um, despite the fact that fewer kids are being uh, locked up. Um, as interesting, I think, is the range of innovations in juvenile justice systems nationally that have undertaken this work. Because not only have they figured out how to stop detaining kids unnecessarily or inappropriately, but they have been able to unleash a stream of innovations that have made the system fairer and smarter, uh, more efficient and more effective. And um, uh, that's encouraging in terms of the long range impact that this initiative can have on juvenile justice systems.